like. How would you like a career in an industry 1.7 billion people strong? That's how many internet users roam the planet. And by earning a PhD in web development, you can tap into this fascinating field. What's more, this enormous internet audience represents only about a quarter of the world's population. So the internet, and anyone who chooses a career in web development, has plenty of room to grow. This worldwide learn guide can direct you to finding the right PhD program in web development. First, consider if a PhD in web development is right for you. Then ask yourself where you want your doctorate in web development to take you. Next, evaluate programs that offer a PhD in web development. Then apply to potential PhD programs in web development. Finally, make the most of your PhD in web development. Web development is broader than web design. It incorporates web design as one of its elements, but involves other technical issues such as server support, database management, and site security. In addition, web development involves a non-technical marketing element which encompasses things like content development and management, search engine optimization, and advertising. Now think about whether a PhD in web development would benefit your career. If you plan to teach web development at the college level, a doctorate degree will likely be an asset. And in an increasingly competitive job market, having a doctorate degree could be the edge that distinguishes you from the other candidates. Finally, given the complex and fast-changing nature of web development, a higher level degree might be the best way to fully explore the subject. Some potential careers in web development include e-commerce consultant, website design or programming manager, website architecture designer and manager, internet database administrator, content strategy developer, search engine optimization expert, internet advertising sales, internet marketing executive, or professor of web development. Start your research by identifying core criteria to help narrow your list of potential programs. Consider criteria like accreditation, location, cost, availability of online courses, and application requirements. Of course, you'll also need to consider which programs best fit your interests. Once you've narrowed your list using core criteria, it's time to do more in-depth research. The full text associated with this video provides suggestions and links to resources that may prove invaluable during your research. Some factors you might consider are faculty reputation, alumni support, school reputation, prerequisite requirements, and availability of financial aid. The article accompanying this video contains a great deal of information that may help you research PhD programs in web development. Once you have your final list of potential PhD in web development programs, it's time to start the application process. Remember, don't always start by working on the nearest deadline because some steps may require more lead time than others. Application requirements often include transcripts, prerequisite courses and degrees, letters of recommendation, and qualifying exams. All programs charge application fees, and some top schools may require evidence of original research or samples of academic writing. While you wait for responses, keep current in your field by subscribing to web development journals, joining professional organizations, gaining relevant experience in the field, and maintaining an updated portfolio of work. Although the internet already dominates the frontiers of information, it still has plenty of room to grow. By earning your PhD in web development, you can stay on the cutting edge of this fascinating technology and become a leader in an industry that's nearly 2 billion people strong. Visit WorldWide Learn for all of your education resource needs.